So today on the table, I've got my own personal Xiaomi Mi 8 SE, which I've got it stuck in fast boot loop. Not intentional that it got there. So at the minute, I've tried to install a Chinese copy of Twerf, a revision that's popped out, to then put the Xiaomi EU ROM on there. Now the Twerp succeeded, it installed, it formatted, I then told it to install uh, the Xiaoyu, uh, Xiaomi EU ROM, all looked to be good, finished, and now we're stuck in fast boot mode. So as soon as the phone turns on, no matter what button configuration is held down, we go straight back to fast boot. So this video here is going to be how to factory reset it while retaining unlocked boot locker for the Mi 8 SE. So first of all, I did come across a great little tutorial, which can also contain the links, right here, which I will leave a link in the description below, and also a link to two of the files, that, or one application, one file that you need to be able to do this with. It would also recommend to have an unzipping program installed. Personally, I use pzip. So here's the tutorial that I mentioned. We need the Xiaomi Mi Flash tool and we also need a copy of the ROM. And once we're opened, we should be able to plug the computer in, get it to recognize it. Oop. So as we see from here, here is the download for the Mi Flash tool. And on here as well, for the ROM, make sure, oh, I went with a relatively early fast boot ROM, as opposed to the recovery ROM. So you will need the fast boot ROM to be able to do this. Save yourself a few gig and don't get the recovery. Anyway, I'll connect it up. As we see, my phone's in fast boot mode. I was using, uh, was it fast boot tool? Close down a few things I don't require. Good old ad, definitely not needed. As we can see, we've got the pop-up for the installer. And it's also requiring to download .NET 3.5. So when you install the Mi Flash tool, it will also install .NET 3.5. If you're using Windows 10, Windows 7, you may already have it installed. Then from there, once you've downloaded your Fastboot ROM, you should be able to extract it. It will take a little while depending on your computer. It should be anywhere from about a gig and a half to two and a half gig that it'll take up. And then once extracted, it'll probably take up about four gig of data. So I'm doing a bit of multitasking here, sorry. And what we see here, the installer, this one is just for the .NET 3.5. That .NET's finished installing, we can proceed to open up the Xiaomi Mi Flash tool, which I'll do that in just one second. That does get saved into C Drive under Xiaomi, and will look something kind of like this. So, first of all, if you haven't got the driver installed, you can click there, go reinstall driver. Then the next thing you want to do is go select image. And this should be where you've downloaded the fast boot image too. It should look kind of like this. One thing you do want to make sure of is it has the .bat files located in there, like here. So I need to go within the extracted folder and the extracted folder again. We can go OK. Down the bent. Now down the bottom, you want to make sure you go clean all. Don't go clean and lock. Now once you connect up the phone, it should look similar to this. And hopefully you get a progress bar. If you don't, possibly try and change USB ports. It would all depend on what error you get as well. 
but I've also got a type C to type C cable which sometimes fails so then I switch it to a USB A cable sometimes it works sometimes you just have a win sometimes you don't but as long as you see this particular screen similar to what I've got here I will fast forward it and then I will cover one other detail once the phone's finished reinstalling that you may encounter as well I did fast forward that last bit by about 15 times so the whole Xiaomi flash might take up to 15-20 minutes before you get a usable phone at the end. Now this is what I've encountered. I don't read Chinese but I'm assuming it's referring to my Mi account. So down the bottom it's asking for a wireless network so I'll connect it up to the internet. Now I'm only assuming this because I've told it to leave the boot locker unlocked so I'm assuming it wants my password to be active. So I'll enter that in. Highly secure password there. And it's allowed me to continue from there. I've also restarted the phone a few times to make sure it does say unlock bootloader at the start. It does. So from here I'm going to have round two trying to install Xiaomi EU ROM. This time I think I'll use a different version of Twerp and possibly a different revision of the ROM and see how I go from there. Hopefully I don't need to follow these steps again. But if I do, there's also a copy for you guys out here. Hopefully this helps someone and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.